Hello beautiful Taurus, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Marie Rose from Tarot Readings Live and PsychicsLive.com.au Taurus, we're here to do your reading for the next 7 to 14 days. If it doesn't make sense to you, release it and check your moon and your ascendant sign. Let's see what energy we have for Taurus please. First one, attune to the divine. Attune to the divine means Taurus that there's something that the universe is trying to give you or show you but you're not seeing it it's like you're looking for an answer you're looking for a solution but you're too busy to meditate or just silence your mind with a clear mind and a clear vision you're going to be able to see things a lot clearer new moon in Pisces for someone here, it's like you have to feel it, which means that listen to the inner voice within you. How do you feel the emotional side of it? How do you feel in certain aspects? Don't doubt how you feel. Attune into the divine with, with the new moon in Pisces, it's all about emotions. How does it make you feel? Step up and lead. This is someone who may be doubting their, their, themselves in a certain situation here. And you're, you're thinking about it as in, what if it doesn't work out? How does this make you feel, Taurus? Because if it feels right, then don't be scared. Let's see what we're talking about. Do you know for someone here, it's a relationship. It's like you're moving away from someone who has a huge interest in you because you're scared of getting hurt. That's what I'm getting here. For others, it's you, you wanting to start a new business or a new project and you're, you're already putting negativity even before you start. If it was a good idea at the time, Taurus, don't let that little voice inside your head tell you it's not a good idea anymore. This is the Ace of Earth, which in the normal tarot is the Ace of Pentacles. The new beginning of a new project that's going to surprise you. You've got a grand idea right now, Taurus, and this idea is going to make you very successful. It's not going to be a dud, or it's not going to be a waste of time, waste of energy. You need to believe in those thought processes that you're getting, those ideas that are coming your way. Unless you... Step up and lead, nothing's ever going to happen. Look at all the green here. This is grounding stuff. This is you. This is you, Taurus, in your element. You are an earth sign. You, Virgo and Capricorn. You are earth. This is your element. Look how much green I've got here. And you're doubting your capability. You're doubting whether you're on the right path. You're doubting whether you're, you're good enough. Self. Someone here needs to look after themselves. It's time to meditate, to ground yourself, to align your chakras and to get into your element. Go and hug a tree, sit on the grass, go and do some gardening, touch dirt, touch things that ground you. Because you may be too much in your head at the moment and, you're, and that's not you. You're very grounded. You're a perfectionist. You 
do things when it feels right. And they're saying, get in touch with your emotions again. Choices, look at that. There are choices. You've got the choice of what happens next. You've got the choice to do it or not to do it. It's free will. <laughs> the nine of water. You are receiving inspiration right now. You're receiving this love and this nurturing and this care. And I don't know if you can feel this, Taurus, but somebody here is feeling a warmth. Uh, all these thoughts coming into their mind and thinking, where's all this coming from? You're finding things beautiful. It's like things are touching you emotionally of late. That's you getting direct connection with the divine. Look at that, attuned to the divine. They're sending you the messages. They're sending you the feeling. They're sending you the thoughts, ideas. So if anyone here is thinking, where did that thought process come from? I'd never thought of that before. Where, did I hear something or where did I get this thought from? What, why am I feeling positive about something? Why am I feeling like a warmth towards a certain path to doing something that I've never thought of before? <laughs> now you know why. Because things don't happen by mistake, Taurus. Things happen to guide you onto your right path to show you how capable you are. And some of you are very uncertain, uncertain about how to go about things, what to do next, what life looks like, how you're going to action something, which steps do you take first. It's like you're juggling all these things. The minute you take time out, this is where your mind is right now. It's like you're juggling all these chores, all these burdens, people's responsibilities that you're taking on. The minute you have time to dedicate to yourself, you're going to find the answers. You're going to understand the feeling of that divine spirit sending you the information and thought process that you need. Wow. Wow. What else have we got for Taurus, please? <laughs> Ten of Cups. The prosperity, the love, the family, the abundance, the happiness. That's what you want. If you want that, you're going to have to get up and lead, Taurus. You're going to, if this is your dream, to be sitting here with a rainbow over you and your partner in a beautiful home, by the water, enjoying life, you need to step up and lead. The Nine of Wands, for someone here, you're exhausted. You're tired of doing the same old, same old. But you, it's like you're on a, 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 tr a treadmill. It's like you're on a, a Ferris wheel. You keep going round and round and round and you're not jumping off. You're not jumping off that Ferris wheel so you can find a different path. You want, you know what you want. But you're not taking the lead to make it happen. And you're exhausted, you're tired. You're carrying responsibilities that don't belong to you. You're doing things for others that 
You're not even doing for yourself. <laughs> Family, you're, look at that, it fell right there right now you're actually focusing on all your family needs on the needs of everybody else except yours except yours isn't that funny family is absolutely your most important priority right here You may have a lot of cancer in your birth chart too. Cancer rules family. But I feel that this Taurus is tired of always giving and not receiving, not having time to chase your goals and your dreams. High Priestess, it's now decision time. Taurus, it's the decision. Where do I go? How do I free myself from this? What decisions do I need to make to start this happening? To allow myself the freedom to do what I want to do for myself. And on the bottom, look at that. We've got the star and the three of wands. It's time to take time out. Another Virgo card, which is earth sign, just like you. Take time out to find your light, your passion and your determination again. And then we've got the three of wands, which is where do you want to go? What does your future look like? Because you need to be very clear about that first. So that you can achieve what your ideal situation is. Taurus, I hope that makes sense for somebody here. Lots of love and light. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.